Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words moving forwards, apologies about that, and also apologies if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well. If there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it can't be helped, and hopefully it is not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2024 related video here on my channel, and another sort of reaction video as well, because right now I am about to listen in full for the first time to Azerbaijan's entry for the upcoming edition of the ESC, which will take place in May in Malmö, Sweden. As always, you are welcome to let me know your thoughts on anything I discuss today by leaving a comment down below. And as always, there are links in the description to my other social media pages. Check them out if you so wish. So, we've made it. Give yourselves a round of applause. It's not been easy. But finally, we have reached the end of the national final internal selection season for 2024. We now have the full lineup of this year's upcoming Eurovision Song Contest. So now a lot of people will be compiling their ranking of all of the songs, which I'll probably be doing very soon as well. I haven't really properly ranked the tracks yet. There may be a video at some point soon where I go through my personal ranking. I don't know. Uh, certainly, uh, there will be a video at some point soon, and that will be a 2024 versus 2023 comparison type video to work out which year is stronger, in my personal opinion. There will also be perhaps another comparison type video at some point, uh, probably maybe even after the contest, I don't really know because these videos do take time, there will be a 10 great national final songs of the season video and an early prediction for the semi-final results alongside, and I am working on it behind the scenes, look a little sneak preview, Ooh. Uh, this is uh, my other cork board and this is going to be used uh, throughout uh, the next month or so before Eurovision begins, uh, I am working on a semi-finals running orders prediction as well, and that video will surface as and when. Anyway, let's put this down. Let's focus on the Azerbaijani entry, which was released a short time ago. I really don't have too long in which to film this, so I better get cracking. Azerbaijan uh, are represented by two men this year, Fari and Ilkin Dovlatov, both of whom were shortlisted months ago as being in contention for Azerbaijan. The song is in English and Azerbaijani. It's called Ozunla Apar, which I'm probably mispronouncing. Now, I don't know much about Ilkin, but Fari is 28 from Baku. His father's a jazz drummer. His grandfather was an actor. He has two degrees in law, and he's released a couple of singles. Uh, now, I believe this song is somewhat traditional. Uh, I believe this song is quite authentic and perhaps quite reflective of Azerbaijani music as well. No Swedish songwriters, it seems, in sight. Uh, so definitely uh, that's quite refreshing, I suppose. The music video, the showcase performance, is on the Eurovision Song Contest YouTube channel. It's had just under 50,000 views in two hours. Yeah, I'm expecting perhaps a ballad, uh, rich instrumentation. What I'm watching won't be in the bottom corner of the video. You're watching, that's the way it usually is. Of course, Azerbaijan debuted in 2008, didn't finish outside the top 10 for many years, won in 2011. And over the past decade, we've had Start a Fire, which did well with the Jewish, not so well with the public. That finished nowhere in Copenhagen. Hour of the Wolf, I can't even remember if that was the title of the song, but that was in Vienna, just missed out on the top 10. We had Samra with Miracle, that was okay, bit of a pop song, sort of finished in the second half. Uh, we had Dihaj with Skeletons, you might remember the guy with the horse's head on top of the ladder. I thought that was going to do a lot better, in the end I think it was about 12th or something. Uh, then we had Icel, who was in contention again this year, she didn't qualify from the very tough first semi-final in Lisbon. Um, 2019, we had Chingis. He made the top 10. That wasn't bad with the robotic arms and lasers and everything. Two songs by uh, the woman whose name I can't remember. But she sang Cleopatra and Matahari. I can't even remember her name. Isn't that atrocious? Oh, dear me. Let me load it up here. Anyway, in 2022, we had Nadia Rustamli, and he was last in the semi-final with the public, but still qualified because of jury support. And then in the final... 
Again, the public weren't so keen. The juries liked him a lot more. Where am I looking here? Get rid of that. Azerbaijan. It was, of course, Effendi. Couldn't remember her name. But yes, Matahari finished 20th in 2021. Not a bad song. And then last year, we had Tural Turan X, who didn't qualify in Liverpool. But anyway, let's see what Azerbaijan are bringing to the table this year. Here we go. Let's just get through this. And then, you know, it's time to start thinking about predictions, running orders, etc. Here we go. Azerbaijan. Ozumle Apar. Apologies for the pronunciation. Okay. Guitar. Woman off to one side. Not a bad voice at all. It's quite low key to begin with. Violins. Okay, it's very simple. The instrumentation's nice though. Oh. Well, I know I'm not really saying a whole lot here, and I'm nearly halfway through already. Uh, it, it feels uh, fairly basic, I would say, in terms of its delivery. And uh, I wouldn't say really that this has uh, any sort of immediacy or wow factor to it. But that's okay. Uh, we have violins. We've got this sort of stuttering type beat in the background. The vocals are quite nice, I would say. This isn't too bad. It feels a tad dramatic, but not over the top. Whoa! We're just going through the motions here. I really do think it needs to almost move up a few more gears. There he is, the other chap. Yeah, he's going for it. What a moustache. If that's his only role in this song, that's a bit disappointing. That's a bit disappointing. Yeah, I mean, uh, without meaning to sound too critical here, we're near the end of this song now. There's very little to say about it. There really is. Um, I think the strength is the instrumentation. The violins. I think this is all sounding pretty good. Um, if there is a negative, it's that the song hasn't really gone anywhere, perhaps. You know, I'm in the final... 30 seconds or so now, and I'm not really super invested in this track, which is a bit of a shame, you know. It's still good. It's not bad. Far from it. It feels quite personal. And, um, traditional, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, one thing's for sure, I'm going to have to um, do a little rejigging with my running order prediction, having heard that song. Anyway, that's it! Azerbaijan, Fari, featuring Ilkin Dovlatov with a Zunle Abar. Um, well, if I had to give it a mark out of 10, I don't know. I, I don't think I can give it more than a 5.5 or 6 at the moment. And that's purely because I think there's many, many more songs standing out a lot more than that one. Let's take a look at some of the comments. I imagine mostly positive here. Very good song. Hooray to One More Country, serving us their beautiful culture and atmosphere all around. Thank you, Azerbaijan, for bringing your culture at Eurovision. Love the ethnic vibes. Freddie Mercury for Azerbaijan, that's a miracle. <laughs> um... Azerbaijan always blessing us with their gorgeous men. Well, I see. I see. Yes. Well, a lot of people seem to be enjoying it. It'll be interesting to see where people have ranked that in their top 36, 37 of the year. But that is it from me. And my last reaction type video, I guess, like this until... Well, maybe next year. Well, junior Eurovision, perhaps, later in the year. I don't really know. But yes, thank you for all of the support and sticking by me through uh, the past couple of weeks with these types of videos. But that is it. We now have the full lineup, And as Baby Lasagna would say, there's no going back. All that happens now uh, is predictions, rankings, uh, speculation, what we might get in terms of the staging in Malmo and everything. And I'll be back with, perhaps, the semi-finals running orders prediction video fairly soon. I'll be working on it over the next 24 hours or so. Some of the songs I haven't heard in full for weeks, so I do need to revisit them. But feel free to let me know who you think could open and close each semi-final. I might even put that on my community tab as well. Until next time, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and bye for now. Thanks for watching.